everybody, my name is GMZ, or you can call me Matthew, and today I am reviewing the Godzilla 2019 version 2, yeah, finally, I mean, version 3 released, I'm not sure if I'm getting that, because this is the technical third time this mold has been used, because, um, yeah, this is technically the third time the body itself, not the spines or the feet, the body mold has been used. Counting this guy. So, yes. Is this figure worth it? Well, let's go ahead and see. Okay, let me start off by saying this figure visually is gorgeous. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a fan of the color blue or what, but NECA, holy, this is, this is, I'm going to say it, this is my favorite Godzilla 20, uh, Godzilla figure they've made. Yes, even better than 2014. I'm sorry, 2014, but this, this is, this is it. Look, okay, enough gagging, but just look. The face is very, very, very blue. Okay, a little bit of detail. Look inside the mouth. You can definitely see a lot more paint. Light blue. Almost kind of looks like the Otachi a bit. Light blue, dark blue with the tongue. Okay, just come on, focus in. Just look at that paint on the chest to the arms. Wow, fantastic color combinations. The gills paints could be a little better, I mean, come on, NECA, it's good everywhere else. But the spines, the freaking spines, when I first saw the promotional materials, holy, these things were the bomb, in a good way. But look, these things are like dark blue, and then they go to a lighter blue, and then they kind of have a color combination with veins running down. Sure, it never happened in the movie. But gosh, is this a good stylistic choice? And I'm not not, and I'm normally not a fan of stylistic choices. Uh, the knees and the feet, they're kind of plain. In fact, um, bringing uh, 2019 back in a frame here, um, there's actually a color difference. This is much more black, which is actually more reminiscent of the 2014 figure, which uh, now looking at it, it's a slightly different color. But it's much more in line with that. But actually, at first, this reminded me a lot the, of the um, Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla uh, original. Okay, just one quick run through with the spines. Just look at that. Yeah, we come to the tail. The tail is phenomenal. It still features that stupid short tail, but that's more of um, the designer's fault. But still, this is beautifully painted and sculpted. I know it's like the third time this mold has been used, but god darn, is this a beautiful tail. Now, something I've actually noticed beforehand was, look at the toenails on my old 2019. They're a bit chipped, but the overall mold is much more rounded, while here, on the new 2019 version 2, they're much more pointed. Like, here, I'll give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Like, see, these ones are much more pointed tipped. So, in terms of which one I like better, I don't know. Like, in terms of feet. Articulation, once again, is the same one we've seen on the last two. Well, minus the bendy wire. But I'll run through it quick. We have two joints in the head, a movable jaw, Articulated uh, shoulders, articulated elbows that can bend, uh, a ball joint wrist uh, hinge thing going on. Hold on. There you go. Um, waist, not as much as movement as version 1, but still can it, you can still get some pretty cool poses. Um, weird leg joints, like this one is kind of out of proportion, like this part is showing. Also, yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. I don't know why that's there. But um, it's not distracting to me. Uh, legs can go up and down. 
you know, in and out. The knee joints are kind of stiff. Okay, there we go. Nearly broke it. <laughs> there you go. Feet, I've heard cases about them popping off. Mine are pretty solid in place, and I've blown a hairdryer to them, making the plastic softer. The tail, improvement. You want to know why? Because it can stay up, which is something the 29, which is something the 2019 can, it does do it, but the 2019 version 1, 2, sorry, version 2 does it a lot better. So, uh, yeah, that's articulation, because I've already covered it, like, several times. Uh, so, yeah. Considering the fact that Mo and Larry over here didn't come with any accessories, it kind of seems a little weird that this one would come with accessories, right? Okay, fine. We all know that he comes with an atomic blast part. I mean, and I'm going to be completely honest, this blast effect part here sucks. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but it, I mean, don't get me wrong, it visually looks nice, minus this huge seam line, maybe a bit more silver paint, but, I mean, the connection is so weird. On past neck Godzilla's, it pegs in. Here, it just rests. And on mine, the connection isn't really as secure as on other Godzilla's. Like here, I can move it around. See? I didn't even touch it. Here. Here's another one again. Here, I'm going to line it. Good again. Okay. This is my other hand. See? I didn't do anything. And the weird thing is, these two can hold it better than this one can. And here's proof. Here's 2014. Okay, there we go. It, it fell out, but it didn't fall out as easily as version 1. Or, sorry, 2. And here's 2019 uh, version 1. See, this one is the weakest out of the bunch, but the overall beam display looks pretty dang good, actually. Okay, so bending this guy down, all you just need to do is peg it in the mouth, bend it down, and it comes with this little impact base. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, this little base, I wasn't actually expecting this. Kind of looks like water, or maybe like... um. Bad connection, but have you guys watched Angry Birds 2? Uh, in the movie, they launch, like, big ice balls, and there's, like, a scene where you can actually see the impact line. It kind of looks like that. But, um, yeah, that is... This is pretty good. I mean, the beam itself is kind of weak, but if you have another Godzilla, like the GMK beam, this could possibly go really well. So, is this figure any good? Yes, it is. It's the figure itself is a near perfect figure. And honestly, I know I said it was better than 2014, but I'm going to go ahead and lowball that and say it's as good as 2014 is. Probably it's because of nostalgia and, you know, all the good memories I've had with this guy. But all seriousness, the figure itself is near perfect. The beams is okay. The impact base is also okay, because it has a very obvious seam line on it. Uh, actually grabbing it. Yeah, you can see that first thing. And overall, this is a pretty good figure. Upgrade over the original? Yes. Is it a replacement for the original? Um, if you guys want an original and an Atomic Blast variant, I suggest get both of them. I mean, they'll run you like $40. Which may seem like a lot, but compare that to the SHMA, which goes for a hundred dollars. Yeah, you can see why. Not to mention, you can get 2014 right here. And V3 for all four of those guys, and you'd still be at $80. Assuming that all of them cost $20 each. So, with that being said, this figure deserves a 9.5 out of 10. That being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.